Always been obsessed with the idea of flying cars, but fiction could become reality sooner than you think. From Chitty Chitty Bang Bang... Right, we'll catch him up. ..to Blade Runner. We've always dreamt of driving in the air. Get in. Now. Hang on. Sure, it hasn't always been smooth sailing. But science moves fast. Now, shut up and drive. now there's even plans to transport Olympians in Paris next year. So could we be finally heading back to the future? Uh, I tell you what, you want to be avoiding the traffic in Paris at any cost. So you may as well be above it. Um, exactly. Aussie company Pegasus is looking to get in on the flying car action. Chief Technology cool. Officer Jackie Yang joins us now from Mount Waverley in Melbourne. Jackie, good morning to you. How soon, how far away are flying cars for everyday use? Oh, you see, this is... Oh, good morning to you all first. And this is something actually Pegasus is doing very differently. You can see one right here behind me, and that is registered with CASA. So, in oh. theory, I can fly it today as daily transportation, as, as a conventional helicopter. Really? So this is something that Pegasus can do right now. Absolutely. You can check on the registration number, and it does work. Oh. And I fly it personally as well. So, and, and, yeah, so I build this, and obviously the te Pegasus team build this, and I get to fly it. Wow, that's cool. I mean, uh, you look at that and you go, is it a car, is it a chopper? I mean, how safe are these vehicle things, <laughs> whatever you call them? Uh, they're, they're, um, <laughs> I would like to say that uh, flying cars are new, but aviation is not. But at the same time, aviation is the safest method of transportation by mm. far, in, in any measurable way. So, Pegasus, we actually have to design this particular vehicle to be as safe as a car, but also be extremely light. And with me in it, uh, this is only 433 kilograms, so it is a really uh, a significant achievement in engineering. And um, they, they are safe. I, 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 again, right. so I fly it myself. The, re so the, I, the, I, the reality I, is that not everyone's going to be able to get a, um, a chopper pilot licence no. uh, in order to get one of these things. Mm. And, and it's got to be more widespread and mainstream, right? So how far away do you reckon that is? And is it going to be safe in the skies, um, given how unsafe the roads can be? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, currently, the, CASA, the re regulation requires that we need a minimum of a, a recreational helicopter license to fly this. That's about 25 hours training, so it is not really long. But I'm sure in the very near future, all the flying cars oper in operation will be autonomous. But Pegasus will be going for uh, uh, like a, uh, with a pilot in it, but it will also have the autonomous function. So that integration will happen quite quickly. And the four-seater air taxi for the Pegasus is also on the landscape. So that will happen, hopefully, by, by next year. Fascinating. Uh, as you were mentioning, Paris, by next year. Uh, it, it, should ha it should be happening very quickly. Also, I, s I think this is some exciting news for the Australians because the Queensland government, they also released white paper about 2032, the Brisbane Olympics. They want oh. flying taxis to be carrying passengers around. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, things are a bit looser in Queensland. <laughs> you can get away with a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, mate. Good Thank on you, Jackie. That's awesome. All right.